hello guys i welcome you all to my channel engineers academy do hit the subscribe button if you haven't done it yet now we are going to solve this problem which says that the vt graph for a particle moving through an electric field from one plate to another has the shape shown in the figure the acceleration and deacceleration that occur are constant and both have magnitude of 4 meter per second square if the plates are spaced 200 mm apart determine the maximum velocity and the time t dash for the particle to travel from one plate to the other also draw the sft graph when t equals to t dash the particle is at s equals to 100 mm so the total the s max distance between both the plates is 200 mm and the particle takes t dash time to to reach this plate from this particular plate so we can say that the distance as we know that velocity is equal to ds by dt and from this we can write that ds is equal to v dt and if we integrate both sides so we get that s is the integration of v dt so so from the integration of v dt this means that the area under the vt graph will always gives us the total distance so we can write that s max will be equal to the distance under this given vt graph and if we if we are talking about if we talk about this half triangle this triangle from t dash then this at t equals to t dash divided by 2 the distance traveled is 100 mm so for this part the area under this graph will be equals to 100 mm and this total area is equal to s max that is 200 mm so now we can write that the distance under this vt graph will be equal to the area of a triangle which is 1 divided by 2 now the base is this this is the base so this is t dash minus 0 so this is t dash minus 0 into the height of this triangle so the height is this this is v max minus 0 so this is v max minus 0 and this is equal to s max which is give which is equal to 200 mm and 200 mm in meters is 0.2 so 200 divided by 1000 so that gives us 0 0.2 meters so we can write that this is 1 divided by 2 t dash v max equals to 0 0.2 and from this equation we can write that v max into t dash is 2 times 0 0.2 which is equal to 0 0.4 so this is 0 0.4 and this is equation 1 now since in this equation this is equation which has two unknowns right so we need to have one another equation in order to find that v max now as we can see that for t greater than equals to zero and less than equal to t dash divided by two i am talking about this part of the graph so let's say that the let's say that somewhere here is one another arbitrary points this is at t equals to we have some v so now we can write that the slope of this graph is can be written as the slope of this graph can be written in terms of this v and t and in terms of this v max and t dash divided by 2 so now we can write that the slope of this small triangle will be equal to v minus 0 we can write that the slope is rise divided by run which is v minus zero and the run is this is the run for this small triangle this is t minus zero this is t minus zero and now for this large triangle the rise is v max minus zero so this will be equal to since the slope will remain constant right so that is v max minus 0 divided by the run which is t dash divided by 2 minus 0 so this is t dash divided by 2 minus 0 so now if we compare both of these so we will have v divided by t equals to v max divided by t dash divided by 2 and if we bring this 2 to the numerator so we will have 2 v max divided by t dash 
so 2 v max divided by t dash and now if i multiply both side of equation by t so we will have v equals to 2 v max divided by t dash into t so this is the velocity as a function of time for this particular interval and now as we know that we are given that the particle acceleration magnitude is 4 meter per second the acceleration and deacceleration both are 4 meter per second square so now if i take the derivative of this this is dv by dt so this v max and t dash these are constant right so we can say that this is 2 v max divided by t dash the derivative of this will be 2 v max divided by t dash and in the problem statement this is given that this is acceleration and this acceleration is 4 meter per second square this is given now from this equation from this e particular equation we can write that 2 v max is equal to 4 t dash or uh, similarly we can write that uh, t dash we can write from this equation that t dash is 2 v max divided by 4 or we can say that this is v max divided by 2 so this is another equation this is equation 2 and let's say let's say this is equation 2 and this one is let's say equation 3 so now if i substitute equation 3 in equation 1 if i substitute this particular equation in this equation 1 so we have v max now t dash is now t dash is v max divided by 2 so i will write this is v max divided by 2 this is the t dash so this is v max into t dash this is equal to 0 0.4 so this is 0 0.4 and from this we can write that v max square divided by 2 equals to 0 0.4 and from this we can write that v max square equals to 2 into 0 0.4 and if you want to find v max we have to take the square root so we will get v max so v max is square root it is square root 2 into 0 0.4 so this gives us 0 point the maximum velocity of that particle is 0 0.8944 meter per second so this is the v max and now from equation 3 we can find t dash so from this particular equation t dash is we can write that t dash is equal to v max divided by 2 so v max is 0 0.8944 divided by 2 so now 0 0.8944 divided by 2 this gives us t dash equals to 0 0.4472 seconds so the particle travels uh, 0.2 meters distance in this much time from one plate to the other plate now we were asked to uh, plot the s of t graph so now since we know that now the equation 2 now this is our equation 2 and this is for interval when when t equals to 0 yeah, when t is greater than or equal to 0 and less than uh, t days divided by 2 this is this is when t is greater than equals to 0 and less than equal to t days divided by 2 and now we know that since from this we know that the derivative of this equation is equal to the acceleration which is 4 meter per second square so we know that this is 4 so we can write that v is equal to 4 and this is 4 t so this is v as a function of t for this particular interval and if we put v max value if we put v max value and t dash in this equation we will get 4 you people can check it since we have used the problem the exercise data which says that the derivative of this particular equation number 2 is equal to 4 meter per second so this must give us
now in the problem statement we are also required to plot s as a function of time we are required to draw the s of t graph right so for that we have to have we need to have s as a function of time equations for both the intervals right so in this equation 2 this is our equation 2 for velocity as a function of time so let me copy this This is for t greater than equals to 0 and less than equal to t dash divided by 2. And now as we know that this 2v max divided by t dash, this is the derivative of this equation which is this is acceleration and that acceleration is equal to 4. So we can simplify this equation. We can write that this is 4 into t. And if we put this t dash and v max value in this equation, we will get 4. So this is v equals to 4t and now since we want to have s of t function, so we need to write this dv as ds by dt this is ds by dt equals to 4t and from this we can write that ds is equal to 4t dt and now we need to integrate this so this will be from 0 to s and this will be from 0 to t so now if we integrate this this will cancel out we will have s and this will be 4t square divided by 2 and this is from 0 to t and this is from 0 to s so now if we put these limits this will be s minus 0 and this will be 4 divided by 2 is 2t two square minus 0 so we will have s equals to uh, s equals 2t square for this particular interval so now if i plot that let me plot it let's see this is this is our y axis and this is my x axis is and on x axis we have time in seconds and we have the last uh, we have s that is the distance traveled so this is the quadratic equation this is quadratic equation and the coefficient of this t square is positive so this it's the curvature of this is going to uh, di uh, is going to direct in the upward direction right so this will be let's say that somewhere here is uh, 0 0.1 let's say this is 0 0.1 this is 0 0.1 meters and somewhere here is let's say this is t dash divided by 2 so we will have the graph like this so at t dash divided by 2 the the s value is 0 0.1 for t greater than equal to t dash divided by 2 and less than equal to t dash we need to have the velocity function that is we need to have the equation for this for this straight line so that will be uh, we can find this by finding the slope so the slope is equal to rise divided by run so now let's say that the slope of this line will be v max minus this v max minus zero so let me write that this is v max minus zero divided by t dash minus t dash divided by two this is the run right so this is t dash minus t dash divided by two and similarly if we have let's say one another point somewhere here let's say this is at some value of t this value is v so now for this small triangle this will be the rise and this will be the run so that is equal to v minus zero and that will be t dash minus t this is t dash minus t so now if we if we equate both of these so we will have v max minus zero so that is v max v max divided by this will give us this will give us t dash divided by 2 so this is t dash divided by 2 and this is equal to v and this is t dash minus t so now we can write this as 2 divided by t dash and we know that 2 v max divided by t dash this is 2 v max divided by t dash is 4 right so we can write this as 4 since this is the slope so this is equal to we can write that this is equal to 4 so from this equation we can write that v 
divided by t dash minus t is 4 and this is v into v equals to 4 into t dash minus t so this is equal to 4 t dash minus 4 t or we can write this as v equals to minus 4 t plus 4 t dash now we know t dash value t dash value is 0 0.4472 so let's put in this equation so we will have v equals to minus 4 t plus 4 into 0 0.4472 so this v as a function of time for the second interval is minus 4 t plus 4 into 0 0.4472 this gives us 1.7888 so this is for the second interval we last as a function of time and now we know that velocity is ds by dt so we can write that ds is equal to minus 4t plus 1.7888 and this will be dt and now we need to integrate this so this integration will be from t dash divided by 2 to t and when it is said that at t equals to t dash divided by 2 s is equal to 100 mm or in meters it is 0.1 meters so at half of the time the particle travels half of the distance between the two plates so that is 0.1 so this is from 0.1 to s now when we integrate this we will have s from 0.1 to s and now the integration of this will be minus 4 t square divided by 2 plus 1.788 t let's write it is 1.788 and now this is t dash divided by 2 let's find t dash divided by 2 so that is 0 0.4472 divided by 2 so that is 0 0.2236 so this is 0. 0 0.2236 to t so now let's put these limits so this will be s minus 0 0.1 and this 4 divided by 2 will give us minus 2 t square so minus 2 t square plus 1.788 t minus minus 2 into 0 0.2236 square plus 1.788 into 0 0.2236 so let's find that constant that is minus into minus 2 into 0 0.2236 square plus 1.788 into 0 0.2236 so this is equal to s minus 0 0.1 equals to minus 2t square plus 1.788t and this is minus 0 0.29 and now if this uh, if i bring this minus 0 0.1 to the other side of equation and, and it will become positive so this is minus 2t square let me write in this particular equation so we will have plus 0 0.1 so this is s equals to minus 2t square plus 1.788t and now this is minus 0 0.29 plus 0 0.1 so this gives us minus 0 0.19 so which is approximately minus 0 0.2 so now this is s as a function of time for the second interval and again we have uh, this uh, coefficient of t square as negative so it's a second degree curve so it's going to the curvature is going to direct in the downward direction so we will have the curvature like this and at t equals to at t equals to t dash s is equal to 200 mm r equals to 0 0.2 meters we know this right so now when t equals to t dash this is that t dash so we will have 0 0.2 so somewhere is 0 0.2 so somewhere is that 0 0.2 and we will have the graph like this so this is the s as a function of time and v max is 0 0.8944 and t dash is 0 0.4472 seconds 
so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from hebler dynamics